Hi. So it's starting to get cold and uh, I should oil all my oboes, as should we all. Um, so I'm gonna show you. First I'm gonna take off the keys. which pin goes with which key, they're not necessarily interchangeable. Uh, then I'll take some Teflon tape. And wrap up the tenons. I guess I don't want to get oil on something that already fits okay now. So I wouldn't try to Oh, I've run out. So, rather than go get more from the other room, pretend I did that too. The same thing to that. So, take something like this. Soak it in almond oil. Chopstick, push it through, do it again, oil soaked little piece of paper towel, make sure you're using a stick that's long enough that you can actually push it through, then you're going to look through, looks like I need to do it again need to look through there until you can see that the entire bore is covered in a layer of oil. And it is. At this point, I can take some of the drops of oil that are there and sort of put them all around the outside. Make sure I got that, the tenon inside there. Same little rag. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm done. I would just let that sit for an hour or so. Okay, and I will do the same process to this. Now, for this, the top joint, it is a very, very small little piece that I need to put in there. See? Otherwise, it's not gonna go in case that's a very small opening in there. So put back in there. And again, I'll spread it out so that it hits the uh, the surface of most of the bore and it gets balled up as it gets in there. the other way if it if it offers some resistance don't shove it obviously just like a silk swab and you don't want to get anything hard stuck in there but that looks about right I'm looking through I'm looking over yeah. so there it is that's an oiling. Uh, it should absorb that. Now, the other option, if you're doing like a more severe oiling, <laughs> which I might do before winter, and of course, uh, with the uh, with the bell, you just the bell sees it, see the bell next. Oil. 
Make sure you just get all of it in and out. And again, let it sit for an hour or so. Or I don't know, there's no, there's no like exact science to any of this. But now, let me move, make sure move this out of the way. directly into the oven. I'm covering up the end with my pinky. Just trying not to get it on the tenon. But right now I have a fair amount of oil in there. I'm just gonna roll it around. What's it look like? It looks like a bunch of oil. Look at that, it's dripping at the end here. I was dripping at the end there. And I'm gonna get it to trip out of the tone holes. Now, if you have, watch out if you have anything uh, uh, temporary uh, tuning material in your tone holes, you probably don't want to be doing this. especially down the back where the uh, condensation trickles down. And there we have it. I'm looking through the bore here at the uh, paper towel and it is just thoroughly coated in oil. So if I were to do that, I could leave that for a couple of days even. In that case, I would cover with saran wrap or something so it doesn't dry out. You want it to retain the same level of viscosity that it has now to whatever degree it can uh, not dry out and gunk up uh, and the oil to absorb whatever it wants to. However much or little the oil would wants to absorb, I guess it's fine. However, let's assume I just did that. I let it soak as much as I wanted to the outside so that it, you can sort of handle it. I'm going to do the same thing I did before, but with a dry towel. And then I really don't want to get it stuck. Yeah. And that's it, that's oiling the oven. Put the keys back together. And Bob's your uncle. Um, I would try the, uh, the, the, the light coat with the paper towel uh, first, not the pouring oil directly into your bore thing, which is kind of cool. I'll do that once in a while. So, bye.